All right, so there's a couple ways we can do this. Um, the binomial expansion of x plus 1 to fourth. We can obviously multiply x plus 1 times itself four times. Um, but what we've also talked about is we can now expand this by kind of understanding how the degrees you know, work. Now, and the difference, though, is now we're not dealing with the y. It's an x and a 1. But all that's going to mean is we're going to have 1 to the, to the 0, 1 to the first, 1 to the second, 1 to the third, and then 1 to the fourth power, which in this case we all know is always going to equal 1. But we'll still write it out. And then we also need to make sure that we're going to use Pascal's triangle to make sure what we multiply each coefficient by. So let's write out Pascal's triangle to the fourth degree. So we have 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So remember, that's to the 0, first degree, second degree, third degree, and fourth degree. Right? So that means my coefficients are all going to be multiplied by this. So I'll write this out really expanded. 1, then we'll have, so we'll be multiplying the first term by 1, the second term by 4, third term by 6, um, fourth term by 4, and last term by 1. These are all what your coefficients are all going to be multiplied by. Then remember, we always start with x to the fourth power, right? And then we decline. x cubed, x squared, x to the first, and x to the 0. We'll write an x to the 0 just so you guys can remember that. It goes all the way down. And then, and rather than dealing with y, now we're going to start with 1 to the 0 power. So now the y's, or the second term, increase. All right. So since these are all added, you can see that these are going to be positive, our positive terms. So all the main important thing I want you guys to understand, it doesn't matter if it's x and y. It's just the first and your last term. That first term starts at the degree and then goes down in descending order. Your second term starts at 0 and then goes all the way up to your degree, right? And you guys can see that every single one of these terms can be rewritten. If we had it, it's going to be written as x to the n minus r times y to the r. Right? They're always, that's how they relate to each other, your n and your r. All right, here's 4 minus 0, 3 minus 1, 2 minus 2, 1, 3, and so forth. So now let's go ahead and simplify this. Well, obviously we know x to, or 1 to the 0 times 1, that's just going to be x to the fourth. Plus, here we're just going to have 4x cubed. Plus here, we're going to have 6x squared plus 4x plus 1. So in this example, you guys can see that my second term, it doesn't matter what power I raise it to, 1 raised to the 0 all the way up to the 4th is always going to equal 1. So it's never really going to give us a, a, you know, a different answer. It's not really going to change our problem. Yes. Yeah, but these are all different. They're all different. Um, terms. Huh? What do you mean? Where are you talking about? No, they're multiplying. Those are all multiplying. That's all multiplication. So if it was two, it'd be different. You mean if it was like x plus what, two squared? Yeah. Or x plus two? Yeah. Oh yeah. If it was x plus two, the problem would be. It'd be like yeah. Well, if it, if this was two, so this is this answer. If this was 2, then you'd have 2 squared. So does this, is this now going to get changed at all? No. But now if I had this, 2 to the 1, now that would be 8. This would now be 4. So that would be, that's 24. This would now be 8. So that's going to be 32. And then this would be 16, right? So yeah, it would, you know, obviously it's going to change it a lot. OK? And you, and you know, I think there's examples where you have like 2y, you know, and then, so then you'd have to add a variable with that to that certain degree. OK.